Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. In this video I will show you how you can make this elegant star stitch clutch. This was the back side, this is the front side. It has a little tassel over here and this is how it looks like. So for the back I used this yarn here. As usual I will link it in the video description and this is what I have left of one ball. Then we will work with the two and a half millimeter crochet hook. My camera doesn't focus but trust me it's 2.5 millimeters. <laughs> then you need a scissor and a darning needle. And if you like you need such a chain. So our foundation chain will in the end be placed like this. This will be the flap of the back and this other side here the bottom part. Very roughly like this. And we look on the back from the side. This is the flap. So if you would like to adjust the back, place your chain like this and you can very roughly see how the back will look like in the end. So for the star stitch we chain in a multiple of two and then we add four further stitches. I chained 82 stitches here and then we add four further chains. Then for the star stitch we start in the second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through, poke in in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and so on until we have five loops on our hook. Sorry in total with the hook that is already on your hook, it's six loops five additional ones. This is how it should look like. Then you yarn over again and pull through all of the loops. Then close and this is your first half star. Now you poke in, in the middle of the star, yarn over, pull through, then you poke in below the last arm of the star, this one here, poke in below this one, yarn over, pull through, then you poke in, in the loop where the arm was pulled through, then you have four loops on your hook, which means you pull through the next two stitches as well. So in total you again have six loops on your hook, the one that was already on your hook plus five additional loops. Then yarn over again, pull through all of them and close the stitch. And again poke in in the middle of the star, yarn over pull through, poke in below the last arm of the star, this one here, pull 
might be a bit, little bit tricky in the first row, but it will get easier. Pull through there, then poke in in the stitch where the arm was pulled through and then pull through the next two chains. Again, six loops on your hook, one plus five, yarn over and pull through all of them. And close again. And you go on like this until you reach the end of the row. So this is how the row should look like now. And the last star of each row will be done in a slightly different pattern. Therefore you poke in, in the middle of the star, yarn over, pull through, and then you poke in, in the loop of the last arm yarn over, pull through. So in total you only have three loops on your hook. Then you yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two. And that's it. Now you turn around and without making another chain stitch or anything you will work in the middle of the stars, these little loops here, little close up, so always in the middle of the stars and make two half double crochet in each of them. Number one. and number two. So this is how it looks like. And you go on right in the next middle of the star and do two half double crochet there. This is how the front will then look like. So the two half double crochet complete the star stitch. If you would like to practice the star stitch a little further, then you will find another tutorial only for this stitch in my crochet stitch library. So first half double crochet, second half double crochet. And you go on like this again until you reach the end of the row. So this is our half double crochet row. And again it will end a little different because we will now make a slip stitch here. That means we poke in there, yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on our hook. Now 
To turn around, we make three chain stitches. Turn around. And again, we pull through five times, starting in the second chain from the hook, this one here, and poke in, pull through, poke in, and pull through. Then you poke in there. Pull through, and now we have six loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all of them, and close. Then You go on with the normal pattern, poke in in the middle of the star, below its last arm, in the loop of its last arm and in the next two stitches. Again, you have six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through and close. And this is how your second star stitch row will start. So remember, this is how we will fold our back in the end. And you go on with star stitch rows until the back reaches the size that you like. If you would like to place a chain in its middle, I would recommend an uneven number of star stitch rows. So. I decided to make 11 star stitch rows and I ended after the last uh, half double crochet row that you can see here. So when I say 11 star stitch rows, I mean of course full star stitches, which means that one star stitch row consists of two uh, rows, one with the star stitch pattern and one with the half double crochet pattern. So now, as I said, I'm in the end here of the last half double crochet row, make my slip stitch, chain one and now I will go on by making single crochet all around the back. And in the next loop, and again, and again, and you go on like this until you go once all around the back. So this is the corner where I reach the second short side of the back and it might be a little bit difficult to see where to poke in on this side. So the, the other short side and the long sides are pretty easy I think, I don't show that in detail, but this side might be a little tricky as I said. So here you can see where I poke in for my single crochet. this small loop there then there's this longer loop there then I go below both next loops like this
and then again there's the small loop On this side you might notice that you will have to work with less tension here and if you notice that the stitches are stretched too much or um, that the, the back curls up then you can just make two stitches every now and then like I'm doing here for example. So and this is how you go on on this second short side of the back. After this side you will reach long side again and there will be very clear where you have to poke in. So this is how my back looks like after I made two rows of single crochet all around the back and I just work, worked in spirals which means that I didn't make a chain stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch combination or whatever between the rows but I just went on with single crochet and I'm now reaching the side or the corner where I would now go on with the third row but instead of going on with the third row, I will stop here and show you how I will make my last stitch. So now I reach the exact stitch where I would go to row number three now. Two rows, two rows there. And this is the, the point where I cut the thread, pull it through and then pull it through below the next stitch and bring it back to the middle of the current stitch like this poke in in the middle and pull it through and afterwards you just sew it in and in this way it will look like a totally normal stitch here. If you would like to sew on a chain you should do it at this stage of the back because otherwise you wouldn't be able to reach it very well in the end. Um, it's important that you don't sew it too tight because otherwise you won't be able to fold the back properly. Now when the back is fixed like this you will just fold the back together and then squeeze it flat like this. So at this stage you can also adjust the size of your back a little if you like a smaller flap for example but I will do it like I showed in this dimensions and as I said squeeze it flat and now we will sew the sides and therefore Make sure that always two loops are placed next to each other like this and you will poke in with your darning needle like this and then just go back and forth with the thread and sew the sides together.
Now, let's do it. My camera doesn't focus very well, but I try my best to show you what you have to do. So as I said, make sure that the two loops are placed next to each other, then poke in with your darning needle, pull part of the thread through, and then you just go back and forth. Which means that now you poke in from the other side, below this loop and that loop. And again, poke in from this side below the two loops. And pull the thread through. And so on. If you pull it tight, your back will close like this. Afterwards, you just sew in the two yarn ends. For the tassel you will need something like a small book or such a case like I have here where you can wrap around the thread several times. Then you pull through short part of the, of the thread, bring it to the top and fix the wrapped around thread there like this. Then take it off and you should have short part of the thread on hand. Take it off. And now squeeze such a little, how would you describe it, such a little tassel hat, whatever, and wrap the second part or the second piece of the thread around it like this, very tight. And in the end, you just bring the end of the thread through the middle of the tassel and that's it. Then you just cut open its ends and if you like, you can place a short piece of the chain around it. So, and after you fix the tassel to the back, it will look like this. I hope you liked the tutorial. If so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions left, just write a comment.